Hello everybody, Sift here again with another flurp run. And uh, honestly, this is most likely going to be my last flurp run. And we're gonna do the thing that has gotten the most voted comment uh, likes from the get-go. That being the one unit and the rest are supports run. But before we do that, we're gonna obviously just buy whatever and have our run going on here. Because we want to, uh, you know, survive until we get to the point where we will be able to do that um, actual challenge itself. So, um, yeah, why stop playing this game? Well, first of all, it does not seem to have a crazy fast uh, patching cycle. And also, it's a bit repetitive, to be honest. Like, we, yes, you do decide what build you're gonna go for, but that is what you do. As I have mentioned a bunch of times previously, quality of life is a bit lacking. Uh, feels like... It feels like, not sure if not, but feels like the dev didn't even play its own his own game like 10 times at least. I mean, right now I am, uh, you know, hypothesizing things that sound a bit offensive, but honestly speaking, after playing this thing five times, you very quickly realize that re-rolling and buying things is such a bad experience that, uh, yeah, you should like instantly realize that, okay, we need to improve how you re-roll and do stuff, and this game does not have those. Now, I do start out a bit negative here, but I just want to explain why I'm gonna be dropping this game. If a huge patch happens or something changes for uh, by a lot, then maybe we will. Let's see what we get. Unmethical units gain damage for each other. Friendly unit, not really. All shadow units gain range, no. Controllers gain attack sides, no. Shadow units, no. Let's re-roll here, obviously. Uh, whenever burn enemy dies, we'll also burn offense, no. Burn deals more damage, no. Units gain armor, no. And shadow units, whatever. Let's re-roll for money. <clears throat> units gain attack speed, that sounds good. Parrots gain damage. Warriors gain damage, this is also good because Warrior is my main unit that's gonna go. Support buffs are 25% stronger. All of these are extremely good. Uh, these are pretty much the run that I want to go with. Warrior 3% damage, support have bigger buffs, and units get attack speed. For now, let's go with units get attack speed. For now, uh, hoping that we're gonna find the support buffs again, and hoping that we're gonna fight the Warrior buff again. But right now, this is gonna most likely keep us in the run itself. Because uh, this is New Gym plus 5, so theoretically this should be an extremely hard um, mode to fight against, I guess. I don't know. We're gonna wait here for the interest to come in, and then we're gonna actually start building the run itself. Right now, we're just chilling and waiting for this to go on. Let's make sure that my sound effects... Uh-oh. If somebody sends me a message right now, it's gonna be like, bing, bong, bang, boom, bing, and all the sound effects are wrong. Yeah, I did it, and let's now actually play the game. Reroll. Evil Eye, we got our first buff. Let's put it over here. Uh, prisoner. Ah, let's also buy a prisoner or whatever. Some people wanted also see chain units, but honestly, yeah, it's not happening. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it is what it is. Uh, you still can play the game on your own, though. As far as I know, it's a pretty cheap-ish game, so it's not that expensive to get. And uh, yeah, you can play like, I don't know, for three or four hours, five hours, see how it goes, and then maybe wait for a big patch drop. Once again, the game itself is not really bad. It's just that after you play it once or twice, you start really quickly realizing that, okay, I did most of the things I wanted to do. And uh, every time you play again, you just feel like, okay, I have to do through all, go through all these hoops and loops to just get a run going. And the hoops and loops being that you reroll and buy things, by the way. It's not as bad as I'm presenting it to be, but, um, you know, in the classic content creator fashion, after playing the same game for five or six or seven days just to get out content, you start realizing... Whatever. Uh, Frost Lord. Let's actually go for the Frost Lord. Which, what does this even do? Chill enemies in range and summon minion for each enemy chilled. Okay, fair enough. And the range is this thing. Okay, pretty decent-ish range. Now we also have minions, I guess, flying around. Uh, let's roll one more time here. Blizzard S. Create a blizzard which deals some damage and flicks chill. Yeah, let's also have the blizzard S here. Ooh, huge blizzard. Let's go. Necromancer, whenever six enemy die in range, summon a minion. Honestly, I'm not gonna buy the Necromancer. There is no reason to. Yeah, in my mind, I don't, I don't really care about the Necromancer. Maybe something else. Let's see what we get here. Units gain taxes for each friendly blaze. Pretty useless. Chaining attacks, whatever. Uh, arcane units, whatever. All units gain armor for each friendly duelist. Ah, oh, not really. Where's again? Taunt, no. Minions will explode, no. Minions will more damage, no. Chain units, whatever. We roll. Everything gets damage, that's good. Wind units gain attack speed, useless. First attack against an enemy deals most damage, no. Actually, this is decent-ish. Attack size for each blaze. No, let's go here. Everything gets 20% more damage. And uh, yeah, let's continue. We roll. Evil Eye. Misclick there. Arcane Knight. Frost Warrior. Attacks enemies for some damage and inflicts chill. Might as well here. Let's also have another Arcane Knight. And Wind Blade. Wind Duelist. Or Doomsayer. Enemies in range continuously take fire. Let's go Doomsayer. The other time Doomsayer pretty much carried us. 
Uh, let's have the Doomsayer here in the middle. You go a bit back, you go here, boom. So everything around it is burned. So we have like a permanent aura effect around us that's gonna theoretically protect us from most things. Yeah, 20 damage every 0.6. That is pretty powerful. I mean, watch my highest DPS, Spearman. And how much damage does he do? He does 48 damage every 0.8. And this does 20 to everything around it. And also burns them for 2 per second. Eh. Obviously the Spearman is better. I'm not disillusioned. Still Windblade. Rapidly fling. Windballs and targets. And we can also take this. Yeah, let's go with the Windblade. Whatever. Doesn't really matter. We roll. We can use Spearman Pro. Oh, and we found the Quartermaster. So we already have... Uh, the time has already come to throw something out. Doomsayer I guess is the first to go. But I would say we're going to keep the Doomsayer. As I think this Flame Around is a very good passive. And let's throw away the actual Frost Lord. What is this thing doing? Where's the Frost Lord? Bye bye Frost Lord. Let's bring in the Quartermaster as central as possible. And this thing is going to start giving us more damage to all the units obviously. We'll level up whatever we have. Doesn't really matter what the build itself is right now. It really doesn't. The only thing that matters is to just have whatever units to protect us. The, the game is literally almost unlosable, as far as I'm understanding. And then uh, you later obviously do want to have synergies and do want to have a build going. But I mean, no matter what you do, as you see, you get some kind of synergy that's going to give you range, chills, armor pen, buff strength. Like everything is getting buffed in one way or another. Let's, uh, I could go for a war leader. As he's a warrior, we can increase our warrior count. Honestly, I don't care. Just bring whatever in. Uh, now, the most important part here is to find my single unit, the unit that is going to carry us. And that unit is called Solar Knight. The Solar Knight is the one that we're going to go for. Because the Solar Knight has an effect. Or the Devil. Or the Devil. Uh, the Solar Knight choice is because the Solar Knight has the ability to uh, destroy everything. Uh, because his passive is that he multi-hits. Uh, not multi-hits. His passive is that whenever he gets a kill, everything around the kill explodes. And that explosion also counts as a kill. So it's just a million explosions. And the... Uh, the Devil, first of all, let's see what we're going to get. Also, put buffs are stronger. That's good. Yun Skin Wax Life, no, no, no. Let's go with this. So, put buffs are stronger. And the Devil has a uh, ability that says every third hit hits everything. So, uh, the, the good thing with the Devil is that you know that his hit is going to hit everything on the map. So, you're not afraid that you're going to miss somebody. On the other hand, the Inferno has the, ups the um, Inferno Knight, whatever it's called, Flame Knight. I don't even Solar Knight, I think, um, has the good thing that the, the propagation of explosions, you know, the, the thing that everything explodes because everything explodes. Let's continue leveling up whatever we have. Right now, we just want to make sure that I will have enough time to build up my, you know, my uh, my whole build. Order Masters. Still gaining money. Buccaneers, Spear Masters. Raven could be good as it's Shadow and Wind, and Wind gives us attack speed. Now, obviously, we are still searching for the Wind Maiden for the attack speed buff. And I just lost one interest because a genius maneuver. And uh, the other buffer is the fairy that we're missing right now. Uh, the fairy is not really needed. I'm only going to have one fairy. But the main reason why I want fairy is, uh, first of all, to not get... Uh, to not have to deal with, you know, low life units getting hit from something, you know. And uh, the other reason, up oh, Sky Maiden's here. Another reason why I want Fairy is to get the four buffs on support, so that support buffs are better. I would say we throw away the Blizzard S, as the Doomsayer now has caught up. Where are you, Blizzard S? It's this. Blizzard S. Bye bye, Blizzard S. And let's go with Sky Maiden. Now, this makes everything have more attack speed, including the Doomsayer, as far as I know. Yeah, look at the 0 0.55, the cooldown now. So, it does get increased. Not increased, it does get uh, improved. Water Master. I will, uh, I will continue building up the buffs. I was thinking about going for two evil eyes, just to have a pretty huge size. And then uh, everything else should be either Wind Maidens or... Oh, Devil is here. I would say let's go for the Devil play. I think making the Devil our carry is, uh, is a fun idea, you know. It doesn't need to be the Solar Knight. I think it would be fun to have the Devil here. And as you see at the bottom, it says every third attack has a 6 percent more range and no enemy limit. 50% more range being global pretty much because, you know, you're not gonna miss. It also does a bunch of damage, I think. Enemies in range deal. Yeah, it does 3d2 damage at level 1. I don't know what the Solar Knight does at level 1. Uh, Warriors gain 3% damage. I wanted that if I went for the Solar Knight thing, but now I'm not sure. So let's go with pretty much anything else for now. Duel lists, controllers. What is this, by the way? This is, uh, I cannot even see. Why can I not see what it is? You had one job. What's the point of being able to show this? The fact that I can see my units? What? Like what? Um, he's definitely not a controller because controller makes zones. Let's reroll. 
What is this? Core is surrounded by fiery aura, whatever. Shield enemies, arcane units, all attacks have a chance to burn. No, we're gonna spend a bit of money here until I find something good. This is good as far as I remember. Yeah, attacks that instantly kill enemies that are all alive. We're gonna take that. That's just the, pretty much the opponents have 10% less life. Shadow Mythical. Oh, okay. Well, Mythical is useless. Uh, Shadow is decent though. I guess. The other good thing with Mythical is that I could get the passive that's... First of all, let's throw something out. Uh, let's throw away the Arctic Knight. I still believe that the Doomsayer being there is, is better than anything else. This guy made a no. Arctic Knight, bye-bye. Let's go the Devil. Here we go. So, what is your range right now? It's this. Okay, and the third hit is still gonna be global. So this guy hits. Uh, we're gonna try to get the Devil to maxed out level. And then we're gonna decide later. So we found the Spirit, the Fairy here. I would say we throw away the hero. He is the lowest one right now. So this guy's the hero. Bye bye. Let's bring in the fairy. Now we got a buffer. Let's uh yeah, let's continue with what we're doing. Solar Knight is here. I would say we buy the Solar Knight just to see if he out DPS the devil, and then we're gonna decide at the end. So time to throw away the wind blade. Do a pause here. Is this the wind blade? Yep, bye bye. Let's bring in the solar knight. Uh can be in the middle. I guess not. Here you can go there. And uh let's continue with what we're doing. I don't think there is a reason to pause. I'm gonna only pause if it's actually needed, like 100% needed. I'm also gonna look out all the time for the buffers. I'm rolling slowly, I know, but uh, I just need to make sure that I'm not gonna miss like Quartermaster or something. The Quartermaster is maxed out, that means if I find out Quartermaster I instantly throw something out and bring the Quartermaster in. Now the most important part here right now is to get level 5 on either the... Here's a Quartermaster, pause. Either a level 5 on the Solar Knight or the Devil. Both of these are important. Buccaneer is here. Let's throw the Buccaneer out. He's the lowest one to go. Nope, he's he this, right? Yeah, level 3 Buccaneer. Increase attack speed. Well, never man. Quartermaster, join us. We get more damage out of it. Well, that's how we're gonna survive here because I'm slowly throwing away all my good units, obviously, with the thing I'm doing. And I'm, like, trying to build them back up. So how much damage did you do? 56. And now? I do 113. While the Sword Knight does 161. Okay, okay, we got like a little fight there. But the difference being that the Sword Knight has this effect for the explosion chain reaction for the damage, while the Devil has the ability to just hit everything, every third attack. I'm not sure which of the two is better. Uh, all minions will explode. Guardians gain 100 armor for 5 seconds after taking damage. What? Guardians, whatever, minions explode, whatever. Units gain attack size for each friendly blaze, useless. When the burned enemy dies, no. We roll. Armor pen for each guardian, chills are stronger, all units can attack size, no, for each friendly blaze, yeah, no, arcane units, no, armor pen for no, armor pen for this, no, chance to burn, no, whatever, area, nope, what is this, giant blade, where's gain 3D range, could be nice if I went for the, did I go for that, that's the question, this is what I want, all units gain 12% damage for each friendly support unit, and that is the most important thing, because we're gonna go like a million support units for sure, now what is this at? I think I should level, I, I should wait for the next tier or something. I'm not exactly sure if that is a good idea in itself. Sky Maiden. Because the thing is that I also want my supports. Oh, I just butchered my income again. I'm always forgetting to check out my income. Let's do one reroll here. Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, we're gonna wait for these two. You know, we're gonna wait for the income to go and join. Now you might say, yes, if the income is only three gold, it's only two gold. Like, who cares? It is actually important because... The more you leave that income not be 5, the more you go down to 0 income or 1 income, it's like another time you lose 2 rerolls. Because, you know, the rerolls cost 2, so 5 coins is 2 rerolls and a half. Let's go Devil and Doomsayer. So it does slowly gather up those uh, those skipped incomes do come back to bite you. And uh, 27, now yeah, we're gonna stay here and wait for... Doomsayer and Solar Knight. I see, it seems like Solar Knight is going to be most likely the first one to get level 3. That makes also sense because it's a tier 3 unit and it has like a higher chance to drop, 25% to be exact. But still, I'm gonna try to have the last two units be between the Devil and the Solar Knight. It's like the light and the night. Good against evil. Who is gonna carry us? I would say it's most likely going to be the Devil, I think. I'm inclined to... The power of darkness. I mean, who hasn't played... Oh, Evil Eyes here, which I most likely have skipped like a million times already. Uh, time for the prisoner to go. Prisoner. Let's go, Evil Eye, join us. Here you go. That will make this, uh, the Doomsayer, even bigger, by the way. 
So let's continue the game. Phoenix is here. Let's see what we got. Chill enemies, increased damage. Attack size, free friendly blaze, no. Arcane damage. Very near enemies, no. I would like to get uh, attack speed. The first strike against a uh, full life enemy is 3% more damage. We're gonna go this. This is gonna help either of the two. We do want to do this uh, alpha strike type of deal. You know, one shotting whatever we can. We don't want to deal with opponents surviving. What a master. Uh, nothing. I think the devil is the play, man. Did the devil already overshoot everything? Oh, 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 the devil is already up here. I think the devil is the play. Solar Knight needs a lot. <clears throat> Solar Knight needs a lot more to be useful. The devil is a lot easier to handle. So, I think we're gonna go to the devil. And at the end of the day, I did say that uh, whatever gets to level 5 first might be the thing. I mean, now that I said it, it's gonna now be 50 levels of Solar Knight, and then, oh no, I take my words back. The devil's almost maxed out. Still trying to go for the XP. I think I missed the buff. Have I gotten all the buffs maxed out? I'm not exactly sure. That's why I'm playing slowly here. Fairy is still a thing. Uh, Fairy is gonna stay at level 1 though. Uh, the most, uh, the thing I'm gonna go is Sky Maidens and Quartermasters. I'm not gonna go any more fairies. And I'm also not gonna go any more evil eyes. How much range does the devil have? Yeah, the devil right now is here. And then it's here every third shot. You see it's like pop, pop, pop. Do you see that it blinks up and down? It does cover a pretty sizable size, I guess. Yeah, I mean, look how it cleans everything up. And uh, yeah, Doomsayer and Devil are fighting. Doomsayer, I told you Doomsayer is gonna be on the high point of things. Maybe Doomsayer is the play. You know, the guy that doesn't do anything. <laughs> uh, sounds like a good idea. What did the Doomsayer gain as a benefit of leveling maxed out, by the way? Increased range, okay, I see. And it does 159 every 0 0.4. That's really good. I uh, uh, hide this for a moment. It's actually really good. This is 265 on everything. Yeah, whenever this thing hits. So, and it attacks every 0 0.66. While this thing here, where is this? The Doomsayer? I'm, where, the Doomsayer is 159 every 0 0.4, not every 0 0.66. Yeah, but it's half the damage almost. And uh, there is no upside here. Uh, I'm not exactly sure which of the two is better. I think Devil is better. I'm gonna go with the Devil. Sounds also more realistic, right? You know, uh, following the Devil and all that weird stuff. Audience gain, blah, 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 chaining. You know, we have the worshippers, and so it's, uh, it's, uh, this is uh, the cult of the lamb that everybody wanted. Shadow units gain range. Uh, I think the time has come for us to go with shadow units have range. Actually, nah, I'm gonna get something offensive. Uh, attack steal more damage based on closer to the core. Yeah, that's good. That's gonna save us from some random last minute uh, death and destruction type of deals. So with that. And, uh,. Yeah, I think Fairy is done. Sky Maiden's here. Second Sky Maiden. Let's pause the game. I would say we throw, any, the, throw away the wizard. Uh, I, I will keep the Solar Knight in here in case he redeems himself, but I, I don't see that happening. Come on, Sky Maiden for even more attack speed, which is obviously completely busted. Now we're going to be slowly going through rerolls here. I need to keep like a Quartermaster out. Here it is. I, oh, another Devil? No, obviously not. Sky Maiden. Wind Chaser. I'm looking at my money too. Sky Maiden, Evil Eye, Solar Knight, Quartermaster. I want to get this Solar Knight to max out just so that we, you know, have the combat of the century. Perry is done. So I think. Uh, uh, was Quartermaster also done? Quartermaster. Oh, we just lost an income there. Quartermaster is also done. We obviously want to buy a new Quartermaster now so that we have even more power. I like that the Doom Series is becoming bigger and bigger. <laughs> um, love it. But it uh, seems to me that the Devil is doing all the job. Yeah, the devil is doing all the job, and the Doomseer is just clearing out whatever tries to come close. So, uh, it seems to me like devil is the play. Unless I'm, you know, you might say, yo, Sif, but if there wasn't a devil, then the Solar Knight would have done more job than what the devil is doing right now. That might be true, but the thing is that the devil is here, so, uh, <laughs> that doesn't make sense as a sentence. Let's go Evil Eye. So now we have maxed out Evil Eye. The devil range is here, and every third shot is an actual globality, so we don't need to care about anything anymore. Now we just want to find more Quartermasters, pause the game. Let's see who's out. Uh, next to go is Arsonist. <laughs> Once again, Sword Knight's gonna fall last. Let's go here. Let's bring in another Quartermaster for even more damage. And uh, yeah, let's continue with the game. I don't need to pause the game to just reroll through some units here. If anything, I would like to have a click over here. What is this? Was that the Solar Knight? Solar Knight's maxed out. So now whenever he gets a kill with 437 damage, he will uh, explode them to into another 131. This guy's 305. Okay, let's continue. By the way, what's this attack speed? 0.54, this guy's 0.52. 
Well, honestly speaking, the Solar Knight feels like a more powerful unit. Shadow units can range, that's useless to us at this point. Uh, chill enemies, who cares? Controller, whatever. Dualist gain armor pen. On control, no. Let's reroll. What is this? I see glaze, stronger. No, what? Chills are stronger. Who cares, man? Whatever, whatever, whatever. Reroll. Uh, something dies. Two magic bolts. All attacks have a chance to burn. No. Magic orbs, whatever. Yeah, all of these are useless. All controlled units gain plus one damage for each enemy hit. No. All units gain attack speed for each friendly wind. Oh, this is actually good. And then all risk gain damage. Now we're gonna go with this. 5% attack speed for each wind unit. Uh, with the wind maidens in here, we will definitely get a pretty decent attack speed. 0 0.45, 0 0.43, 437 damage. Uh, 305 damage. I'm not sure, man. I think the good thing with the devil is that he can hit everything. Like, that is the one thing that he is good at. And that's the one thing I should use him with. And uh, being the one run only thing, you definitely want AoE. Once again, uh, the good thing with the Solar Knight and why he is a contender is because of his, this ability down here. Enemy slain by this unit will explode, dealing this damage, and the explosion itself triggers it. That's why when you see over here, you see like five or six explosions just going on at the same time. That is what he does. Roll, we roll, Sky Maiden, we roll, Sky Maiden, Sky Maiden. And now we need to keep out for another new Sky Maiden. So that we throw something else out of the building in. Uh, and also, let's not forget that I'm looking for Corn Masters too. Okay, here is a Sky Maiden. Let's pause. Let's decide who's out. Spearman is out. Spearman is this. Bye bye, Spearman. Sky Maiden joins. And uh, we continue. We continue. As far as I'm concerned, right now we're gonna go with the uh, clickety clickety thing. Because uh, I don't have any Buccaneers here. Yeah, is the Buccaneer maxed out? That's the only issue here that I need to watch out for when the Buccaneer maxes out. This is, I think, the fastest way that I can just get through everything. I know it's uh, very uh, displeasing in the eyes. Let's hide. Oh, this is unhideable. Ah, oh, very nice. Uh, Arcane units, whatever. Units heal, whatever. It heals stronger. No. Own minions will explode. No. Let's reroll. Enemies with less armor. Pirates, whatever. Core surrounded by aura. Enemies less armor. Let's go with enemies less armor. I hope this is not gonna have that bug where they just get infinite life for some weird reason. So Quartermaster is definitely low level, I just got a new one, and uh, I don't need to do this blinky clinky. Sky Maiden, I just need to reroll slowly. Sky Maidens, we're about to get another Sky Maiden maxed out, that means obviously that we're gonna go for another Sky Maiden. Until everything left is the Devil and 12 supports, and his followers, I guess. Oh, we missed the Sky Maiden there, and then we got another one, as if the game is like, yo, not only did you miss the Sky Maiden, but now you also missed the ch chance to get another one. Quartermaster, Quartermaster, uh, come on, something new. We're still gaining money, obviously we are extremely busted at this point. Sky Maiden, I think I missed one or something, but doesn't matter. Uh, Imp is out, and then Doomsayer and Solar Knight are the only contenders. Imp is this, nope, that's an evil eye, no, that's the devil. Imp, my buy Imp, Sky Maiden Joyce. Uh, first of all, before she joins, 0 0.4 attack speed, plus Sky Maiden, and now 0.37. Okay, not that it made a huge difference or anything, but it did make a difference. And also it's gonna make an even higher difference when I get her to level 3. Uh, as a level 1 gives us 24 and level 3 gives us 74, so the difference is pretty sizable. Everything is probably in the background, armor, whatever, control. Controller units, guardian units, minions, uh, burnt, no. Arcane units, core, warriors, and chance to summon additional, no. No, what is this? Duelists. Chance to summon more guardians. No. Wind you wait, wind units? Nope. They're taking the attack speed. Everything life. No. Chain units. No. We're losing a bunch of life here. Chilled. Inc incre take increased damage, but I cannot chill enemies. Is there anything that I want? Duelists. Maybe shadow units have more range, I guess. Some smudge of regen could be the choice. Mythical units gain 10% damage for each other friendly class type. Yeah, we're gonna go with this. Let's go with this. This is a mythical unit. So now he does 380. Well, this guy does 442. Uh, I'm gonna go with the devil, man. I decided. I've decided. It has been a long time now that I decided, but I'm just saying no, no, no. I'm actually announcing it. And um, how many more? There are only two more units to be gotten here, Quartermaster. So I hope we're gonna be able to get them faster than slower. Earlier than later is what people say. Let's actually speed this uh, process up a bit. Here you go. I think this is the fastest possible method of doing this. Right now, maybe actually auto clicker is always the faster method. 
but auto clicker is not a thing right now and now i need to slow play this again because i need to keep my eye out for a quartermaster so that i get another one actually did i did i get everything done you know what you know what i'm gonna pause here and uh i'm gonna actually go ahead and find those two units that were missing because there are only three minutes left in this and I want to actually see this in action, right? Because we do know for a fact that if this hits 20 minutes, we are instantly dead. Like, the enemies are going to full-on surround us. And uh, I want to, you know, do the run, man. I want to do the run itself. I want to see the devil just, you know, I don't want to be clicking down here. I don't want to deal with the shop. I just want to chill out, see the final thing go on. And then uh, end the game pretty much. Sky Maidens here. So the time has come for the Doomseer to say bye-bye. Doomseer being the sky. I love you, man bring the sky maiden in um okay whatever let's bring her outside who cares and then uh, i need one more uh quartermaster here it is so let's also send off the sword or knight so knight's out quartermaster joins let's also maybe get levels on those with uh you know with the new wave tactic of clicking everywhere because there is no hotkeys in this game unless they nope nothing has changed actually let me press four nope let me, i'm not gonna press r <laughs> i was about to press r for the Maybe it's the buttons, but maybe it's the letters. And if I did that, I obviously would have lost that because R is for reset. Uh, nope, I found another one. Ah, we're closing in. I wasn't able to get everything maxed out, but doesn't matter. Uh, you know what? Let's set them up so that they look nice. So the devil's going to be at the top because he is the king. And then we're going to have the two eyes below. And uh, what, are the, what is this? Uh, this is the fairy. So the fairy can stay in the middle, exactly below the core. And we're going to have the two eyes and we're gonna have uh these are all sky maidens right and these are the we have five sky maidens it seems and we have four buccaneers so let's have the buccaneers somewhere like this around the around the healer they're like the um, they are like the, the the guard the protector and then we also have the sky maidens being over here with uh, it looks like a little smile it's a bit of a disjointed smile or something but still, actually, it looks like a devil. You know, at the end of the day, we it was the right choice to going for the devil. Look at this. This, this looks, looks devilish. I can have the devil up here if I want, but I, I want him a bit closer. And uh, the eyes can be something like that. Wow. L look look what they have made. I, I'm like a Teletubby or something. This guy's the, the, the laser gun machine, I guess. Does everything affect everything? Yeah. I think the devil can be somewhere around here. Just because uh, I want to differentiate them. And we can also pull the uh, my eyes a bit closer just for the memes. I don't know, man. This is the build. And uh, yeah, let's go. Let's uh, actually... Oh, I, I rerolled my money away. Whatever. Yeah, look at this. Now we have a photo shoot. Can I pause? Can I pause? Can I pause? Can I pause? Seems like I never have a chance to pause. How did I do that previously? How did I have such a clean picture previously? Like, How? Or, or was I just blind to the fact that there were lasers somewhere? Like, as you see, I, I don't have the ability to, um, yeah, do anything here. My crazy lasers. The doof, 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 doof. I'm going to try to still get those builds. I want to get my build to perfection. Let's pause the game just to get the build into perfection mode. And then just chill and relax. Quartermaster. Sky Maiden. No! No, Sky Maiden. Down to 42. Yep, we got another two levels here. We're very close to getting everything maxed out exactly the way I want it. I mean, this is obviously not min-max having the devil up here. Oh, 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 this is becoming dangerous. Let's actually bring the devil down back again. I really don't want to lose anything. Let's have the devil up here. Um, you know what I can do? I can do this. I can do something like this. And this looks prettier. Yeah, now he has... Yeah, look at this. It's oh, we, look at this. We have a tripled eye demon with uh, with this as hair. I could have had the whites as hair, whatever. And then this is his little laugh, his evil laugh. These are the, his white teeth, I guess. And then the green one is his nose. So it's a tripled eye demon with a bit of hair in here. It's a bit of bold. It's a he is a bit of a bold demon, but uh, still, we got the ice maidens done. And now I just need one more level on Quartermaster, as far as I know, right? Wait a minute. I don't want to reroll here a million times. Yeah, that is a level two. And did I get it? No. Am I winning, son? Got it. Okay, everything is maxed out. 
here is the the stats here are the stats the fact that it's only for supports and not even for supports it's a uh, you know one unit that does the damage and everything else is just supports and yeah now we're gonna chill here for two minutes seems like it's working you know uh, a bit of too much flashiness but i think the main flashy problem is the um, the what is it called the fairy the fairy is the one that makes everything a bit weird to see the rest i mean it is the devil it does its job exactly like it's supposed to um i think phoenix knight would also achieve the same exact ability but i do love here what we're seeing like pop 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 I love it. It's like a very rhythmic thing. And it always hits all. I do. I really enjoy the hits all part of the devil. And also the moment something tries to go close, that's bum. It's everything. Just they disappear. Especially the small ones. And the, even when the bigger units appear and they just br try to bring anything in. Bum, bum, it's done. How much damage does this thing do? 436 every 0 0.22. So every 0 0.66. A shot goes out that hits everything. Which is very nice to see. And we have one more minute to go through. I don't see us losing here. I think this is even possible with... This would have been also possible with a Doomsayer, most likely. Could have been fun. Could have been fun trying this with Doomsayer. At this point, it doesn't matter, though, because... Oh, opponents are trying to get in. Maybe the Phoenix Knight would have... Uh, the Solar Knight. Maybe the Power of the Light would have been more powerful than the Power of the Darkness. But uh, with the Power of the Darkness, I could create this uh, stupid... Um, what is it called? The... <laughs> This little uh, face, I guess, is what I'm trying to say here. By the way, the Teletubby st dream still exists. Look, here it is. Ooh, the Teletubby dream. <laughs> I'm kidding. Let's pull it back down and let's end the game. Most likely. Everything is just getting destroyed all the time. And at this point, we won. 10 more seconds to go, but I don't see us dying in 10 seconds, so by definition we have won. Now we're gonna start seeing opponents literally being able to survive and us unable to do anything. That is how this goes. After the 20 minute mark, the game just decides, okay, your time has come, my dude. We're gonna now exponentially get more and more life and you're gonna be unable to do anything against us. Which is what's gonna happen here, but still, it is what it is. We did win, that's the important part. And as I said, this is most likely going to be my last video on this game. Uh, unless like some crazy, oh, oh we're already getting attacked, unless some crazy patch comes out that uh, overhauls the game completely, I don't think I'm gonna continue playing this. It's not exactly that I hate the game or anything, but I think there isn't that much more things to do. People are also slowly, um, people slowly seem to stop caring about this and it makes sense. I mean, it's very simplistic and also similar every single run. Uh, we are getting destroyed here. Oh, look how everything just goes away. And uh, yeah, we pretty much won and lost at the same time because that's how it goes. Uh, let's see damages. Okay, Devil got 48 million damage. Doomsayer from, from 8 million behind. Uh, maybe Solar Knight was the play, but who knows? Who's, who's to say? Doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, I think it was more thematically appropriate to have a Cold of Supporters plus the Devil and then having a Cold of Supporters plus Solar Knight. Honestly speaking, though, both would be the same thematic, that being either good or evil. We went with the evil side because purple is a more awesome color than red. Not that red isn't an awesome color or anything. But you know, something is up with purple that people enjoy. Anyway, that is going to be it for today. As you see, today's demeanor was a bit more chill because it's like my first video I'm shooting for the day. And also the game itself is chill anyway. So I hope you guys enjoy this new demeanor of Sift. If you did, drop a like, help us the channel. If you want to see more, you can subscribe too. As always, thanks for the pitch on the membership supporters. Thank you for watching. And uh, I hope you guys are excited for whatever I'm going to play tomorrow because I have no idea myself. And uh, yeah, once again, thanks for watching and see you guys around.